Alright everybody, welcome back to another game of tutorial by Rexbury. Let's start the video off by getting this out of the way here. Okay, so uh, this video is part of my uh, little test that I'm doing. Um, you guys can go ahead and if you want to check that out. Um, I actually made a video about it, uh, explaining all what I'm doing. And uh, I'll probably post a uh, link in an annotation or the description box or something. I might not, but I might um, <laughs> do that video. But uh, anyway, it basically explains why I'm going a little more faster and less descriptive uh, in this in these next coming tutorials um, as I usually am in my previous tutorials. So uh, yeah, anyway, with that in mind, let's go ahead and get this thing off. So uh, as you probably saw by the title, um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create moving platforms in your Game Maker games. And uh, basically what I mean by that is we have our moving platform here, okay, and it's just going to go back and forth, back and forth, and our player here will be able to go and jump on it and just kind of ride it back and forth, and when he's done, he can just go ahead and jump off. All right, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. And a uh, little note before we start the tutorial, um, I was having some problems uh, because Game Maker is just being annoying, and uh, I can't really walk back and forth. Um, <laughs> it is really weird. Um, but I can still jump and still pretty much show you guys the gist of the tutorial. Um, so yeah, anyway, that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. And as you can see, I already have everything uh, pre-made for the uh, uh, basically purpose of the time for the tutorial. I want it to be pretty short. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and start with these sprites, just so you guys know uh, exactly what I have here. So this is just a regular sprite, a uh, regular cube, and it is going to be my player object. And uh, this is my block, which is going to be uh, my ground object in this game. As you can see, just a little black block. And this is going to be my moving platform. Now, originally it was black, but I decided to change it to a uh, different kind of color, just so you guys can uh, or can basically know um, that it is a separate object and it is a moving platform. Okay. So next thing I did was went ahead and made objects of all three of those. And uh, so we basically have a player, block, and moving platform. And uh, what I did in the player is, uh, obviously, I set some gravity. And uh, this is really simple gravity. Um, it's actually pretty bad gravity um, if you're making a serious game or whatever. But for testing purposes, I think it's okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, however, if you already have your own gravity, um, you don't need to put this. Okay, next thing I did was uh, make a collision between my player and the block just to make sure that he uh, stays on the floor. And again, if you already have this, you don't need to put this. Um, in fact, this is a pretty poor way of doing it as well, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, next thing I did was obviously add some movement. All right, and then add a jumping little kind of thing. So really, you don't really need to do any of this. You just make sure you need to make sure that you have a functional moving player. Okay, uh, with gravity as well. <laughs> okay. So next thing we want to do is uh, let's go to the block here. So obviously this is regular block standing as my ground. It's just check solid, so you don't really need to do anything there. Uh, just make sure you at least have some kind of ground for your player to walk on. Okay, and make sure it is solid as well. And finally, onto the moving platform, which I named SPR for some reason. Let's go ahead and rename that to OBJ. Okay, uh, not that it really matters, but you know. Um, all right, so the first thing you want to do is want to go to Add Event, Create, go to the Control tab, click and drag over some simple code. All right, well, all we're going to type out is H speed equals three, standing for horizontal speed. So it's going to go uh, to the uh, basically to the left because that's the default horizontal uh, direction. I mean, to the right. Sorry. And at a speed of three, I might add. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, add event again, uh, collision with our player object. And again, we're going to drag over just some simple code here from the uh, control tab. All right. Now we'll have this control or uh, this code in the uh, description box, so don't freak out saying, "Oh, do I have to write all this code? And where do I even get this code if I can get it somewhere?" <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I'll make sure to put this in the description box. If I don't. Um, then please remind me if you don't see it, um, because it is quite late right now, so, uh, so yeah. Anyway, but I will most likely have this in the description box by the time you're watching this video. Alright, so, um, I won't really go through and explain this, but I will explain some key points here. So, obviously, if place meeting, um, you need to, uh, replace the OBJ player with just the name of your player object, if it is an OBJ player already, and uh, the OBJ block object with your ground object, okay? If it isn't uh, basically named OBJ block already. And uh, finally, um, this basically this V speed right here determines how high you want your player to jump when he is on top of the uh, basically movable platform. 
Um, and right now I have 8.7. You could set it to 9 or 10 or 5 or whatever. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and hit OK. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, collision with a block or your ground object. And, again, you want to make sure your ground object is solid just so this works. And, once again, drag over uh, some simple code. And I will have this code in the description box as well. I should have all these codes actually in the tutorial in the description box, so uh, don't worry about this. Uh, you can probably just copy and paste it in here. Um, this is basically saying if it hits the uh, block, it will turn the other way and vice versa. All right, and finally, a okay, actually, okay, that's okay. So actually, delete that. I don't know why I have that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and hit okay. And I'm going to go ahead and run this game really quick. Um, just to make, or just to basically show you guys what it does. So hang on a second here. 